Hey guys, how's it going? I was traveling for about two weeks. The past few weeks I went to my grandmother's for a week and then I went to New York for a week. And so I haven't really put any video up and I'm really sorry I tried to pre-record. And I actually did pre-record some, but I uploaded them before I left. And then my computer got fried. I accidentally spilled water on it. But thankfully it just needed to dry out for a week and it's working fine now. So I'll be able to keep editing videos for you guys. I didn't vlog any really when I was in New York. I just was having so much fun that I didn't want to pull out my camera. But I did take a lot of pictures at Oticon, which is an anime convention my friends and I went to. So I will link that video right around here. Go check it out. It's on my vlog channel. But today is my monthly favorites video. And I really had a hard time putting together what I liked this month because I didn't really wear makeup. It was just too hot and I didn't want to fuss with it so I really didn't wear any but when I did this is what I loved so we're gonna get started so the first product is my Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream I love this um, I love this product guys I can't get enough of it I've been wearing it almost every day that I've been wearing foundation it's just so amazing and I keep saying I'm gonna do a review on it and it's coming I'm going to film that after I film this favorites video but it's just a very lightweight face product. It gives It's a little bit more coverage than a tint of moisturizer, but not quite as heavy as a foundation. I love the look it gives me. It gives me a really nice dewy finish, and I have dry skin, so that's a really hard look for me to accomplish. This was kind of expensive. It was like 8 bucks for such a little tube. I can get more foundation for like 5 bucks, but whatever. Love this, and yeah, look forward to the review, the review that I have coming up on this. And to set that product, because it does need a little bit of setting, I use my Maybelline Age Rewind Powder. And this, oops, wrong way. This is just a very lightweight powder that has a little bit of coverage to it. It just gives me that extra uh, finish that I need. For cheeks, I have been loving my e.l.f. Candid Coral Blush I got this month. And it's just a really pretty pinky coral color. I actually don't apply this like a normal blush. I apply it almost like a bronzer because on my skin tone it does have a little bit more of a bronzed effect. So I've been taking my Sigma Angled Contour Brush F40 and I've just kind of been applying it to the hollows in my cheeks instead of just like on the apples. And I really like the effect it gives. It gives me a really nice contoured and shaped kind of face. So yeah, I'm loving that. Um, I have another face product. This is a month of, like, face products, I swear to God. I have been loving my L'Oreal Dull Skin, Anti-Dull Skin Primer, and I picked this up at Target when it was on sale, and it's just a pink tinted primer. It really brightens my skin. It gives it a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of just, you know, vibrant look when my skin's looking kind of deadish. So, yeah, been loving this. Uh, next for lip products, I have two. The first is my Maybelline Baby Lips in Quench. And this is just their clear tinted clear balm. And it's really moisturizing. And look how much is left, guys. There's like barely any. And I just picked this up at the beginning of the month. I never go through lip balms that quickly. And then for a lipstick that I've been loving this month, I have been reaching for my... Revlon Lip Butter and Peach Parfait, and honestly, it looks a little bit more berry on me than peach, but whatever, I love it. It's got just a little bit of sparkle to it, if you can see, but not too much that it's overbearing, and I've just been really loving that lipstick. So, for, shadow, for eyeshadow this month, I have kind of rediscovered my makeup palette. I went away from it kind of this summer when I was playing with my Coastal Sense palettes because I really wanted to use those a bit. But when I went traveling, this surprisingly fit in my makeup bag, and it was just really nice having different sort of looks. I could have day looks, I could have night looks, very casual looks, very, you know, dramatic looks. It was just really nice to travel with, and it fit so well with in my little makeup bag. My nail polish that I've been loving this month is Wet n Wild's Tropicalia, and it's a very pretty neon pink, almost kind of neon orange on your fingers. I wore this like almost half the month. I would paint my nails and then a week later I would repaint them with this. Loved it so much. I got a lot of compliments from people on it and I've just really been enjoying wearing that. So for hair products, 
I have been loving my Aussie hair insurance leave-in conditioner. I've been having really dry hair because I've been out in the heat and in the pool. So this has been just giving me that extra bit of moisture that I've been needing. And I actually went away from using this for a while because my hair was kind of oily and I felt like it was making my hair worse. But this month I've just been using it a lot. So yeah, loving it, loving it. And I'm almost out so I might have to go repurchase. So I have a really random favorite and there's actually a little story behind it. When we were taking our kids on one of the last field trips at work this w summer, we went to a nature center and we went hiking on a trail. Unbeknownst to us, there were thousands of mosquitoes and my legs got covered. I had maybe like 30 mosquito bites on my legs. I'm not even kidding. And I'm really allergic to mosquito bites. Mine get really swelled up almost to about that size for each of them and they were really itchy and irritated and I didn't know what to do so I went to Walmart and I asked the pharmacist what she could do for me and she gave me this afterbite itchy re eraser which is supposed to um, give fast relief from insect bites and stings and this worked really well it dried up my mosquito bites rather fast I think it would took about two days for them to stop itching and it's got a little applicator on here that you dab on the bite and it's mostly made up of ammonia so it really really smells but it's super effective and gets the job done so if you have mosquito bites go to Walmart and look for this it was like three bucks best thing I ever bought and I'm still using it because it's summer and I'm still getting mosquito bites so random favorite app of the month so this actually I've only started playing this app like the very last week of July when I was out in New York my friend Sarah showed it to me and I fell in love and it's called Coin Dozer and yes I know my screen is cracked beyond belief so this game is basically one of those old arcade games where you put the, put the coin through the slot and it will push more coins over the edge and it's just really fun I'm super addicted I actually played this game at Dave and Buster's and that's where the addiction started and so now I have a little app on my phone and you just tap up here and coins will come down and they will push coins over and it's super fun you can win lots of prizes not real prizes but you earn prizes toward bonuses and this was a free app in the app store so if you have an iPhone go check this out well, for favorite songs I have two this month and the first one is Good Girl by Carrie Underwood. I love this song and I just watched the music video for it last night and there were so many cute outfits and makeup looks and I was just inspired by all of it and it's actually got Carrie Underwood kind of showing her little sexy funky side, rocker side and I would definitely go watch it if you haven't. For my second favorite song it is Back in Time by Pitbull. Super fun. Love running to this song lately. I just downloaded it a while ago, but it's been on the radio all summer, and I love it. It's so fun, and it's fun that it's got that old 50s song. I don't even know what it's called, but it's so good. So Another thing that I've been really loving this month is my new makeup storage. I ordered this off Amazon. It's just a 10 tiered, 10 or 12 tiered card. I can't remember. But yeah, I want to do a video on this, but I probably won't do it until I get back to school and I have a more permanent setup. So yeah. Loving, loving, loving this beautiful, beautiful thing. So, those are my favorites for this month. Please let me know in a comment below what you were loving this month, and I will see you all later. Bye!